Cardinal Stritch University students are reacting after finding out their school is closing for good. The Catholic Liberal Arts College in Fox Point announced plans to close after 86 years. The university's president cited ongoing financial challenges as the reason for the closure. Students say they are still in disbelief over the news. I actually found out while I was at work, uh, so not a great experience. I work in customer service, so I had to finish the rest of my shift and be like, yeah, I'm having a great day. How about you? And it was, you know, it was really stressful. Right now, around 1,400 students go to Cardinal Stritch University. Here in Madison, just under 1,900 students go to Edgewood College, new at 10. Caroline Dade has you covered on why the school's leader says his college is not in danger of shutting down. Caroline? Yeah, Brandon, people who work with small colleges and universities in Wisconsin tell me these schools are facing some major challenges right now. But some, like Edgewood College, are better prepared to respond and keep their classrooms open. It's not just Wisconsin. But Eric Fulcomer is the president of the Wisconsin Association of Independent Colleges and Universities, which both Cardinal Stritch and Edgewood College are members of. He says during the pandemic, schools got extra money from the federal government, but now that's ending. The schools now have to um, move out away from that federal funding and be able to pay their bills uh, just through the money that they're able to generate, either through tuition revenue or through uh, donations. But that's proving challenging as fewer students graduate from high school and go to college. There are just fewer students, and so it's harder to get that tuition revenue. While Cardinal Stritch is closing down, that's not the situation everywhere. The president of Edgewood College says the school's financial issues from 2019 are a thing of the past. We will turn 100 years old in 2027 and we are preparing for our next century. He says the college is working to offer more programs to bring in new students. We're diversifying the students that we serve. We're reaching out with our mission, uh, doing some programs that are uh, online that we're going to be reaching uh, new audiences with. But overall, that enrollment concern is still there. So Fullcomer's organization is asking state lawmakers for an additional $25 million in the budget for the Wisconsin grant, which provides financial aid to Wisconsin high school graduates who go to college in the state. We think that more students will consider higher education that aren't considering it now, and so that will, that will increase enrollment. So, Caroline, this issue is getting lawmakers' attention, and today Governor Evers is weighing in. Yeah, today Governor Evers saying he's disappointed that Cardinal Stritch is shutting down. He says when he worked in public education, he hired a lot of teachers who graduated from there. And he says these small colleges across Wisconsin are too valuable for more to close. Certainly a lot of families, a lot of parents interested in this as well. Caroline, thank you. Absolutely. We need them all and uh, whatever we can do to provide. You know, we, we, we do a lot of we do a lot of mon things around getting students money. Maybe we need to look at uh, how we can help these folks stay in, stay in business. Today, Evers didn't say what specific changes he wants to see or what he's considering when it comes to private college funding. All right. Thank you for that update, Caroline.